Well, now it's recording. Well, I am very sorry. I'll, I'll make a video on that again. But as of right now, it's recording. My apologies. Um, can I continue? Wait, hang on. Um, if, yes. if this was if this was a free response question, how would you know that that the letter A, which one it says y prime minus three y, uh, three y y prime minus fifteen equals zero would be it? I'm sorry. One more time. One more time. Right. If um, if oh. this was a free response. Yeah, yeah. So if it was a, a free response, they would give you only one option. So they wouldn't give you these right here. They would say, hey, can you go ahead and verify this equation is a solution? This differential equation is a solution to this oh, one right here. So it show, So they basically show you show you some some equation like, like this one. Yeah. Like the one in shown in A. Yes. And if it was not, let's say this like that was the original question. You would have to check each one of them, and um, I don't think we have that time. So I went ahead and, and did that one. So if it was not a free response, they would give you all the options, and you would have to try each one. The same thing we did for um, the same thing we did for all of this work right here. We would do it for each of the multiple choices. Yes, um, and yes, uh, the, um, the video will be posted on YouTube. And since I didn't record the first example, I'll re-record uh, re it on my own and I'll upload it also. So both of them will get posted on YouTube. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Okay, so similarly, they're gonna, um, they're gonna ask you either verify that these will work or will not work. So, um, Sometimes more, more than one will work and sometimes none will work. But so let's go ahead and try this. So I'll give you a couple seconds to write down the question. And pretty much the steps are still going to be the same. Um, you're going to go ahead and find out, well, this right here is F double prime. So we need to find Y double prime and this one is just the original so all we really need to find is y double prime so let's start off with uh the first part a so if f of x is sine right the original f of x is sine we need to find f double prime so f prime of x so remember our little circle if this is sine a derivative takes me to cosine so this is cosine of x if i do my derivative a second time right second time whoops a second time i do my little wheel again and this becomes negative sine x so this is negative sine x now that we have our derivatives we're going to go ahead and substitute into the given function right so the given function, uh, the given function, this one right here, this is the given. So it says F double prime X, that is horrible. F double prime X minus the original function. The original function is this one equals zero. Question mark, well, let's substitute F double prime is negative sine x minus my original function, which is minus, whoa, sorry, sorry, so that is not my original function. That is my derivative. My original function is this one. Sorry about that. Not this one. So minus my original function, which is sine x is equal to zero question mark. So negative sine x minus negative sine x well that makes it more negative so minus 2 sine x is equal to zero well how is this true well actually no guys this is the left hand side is whoa 
the left is not equal to the right, the function is not equal to zero, so this would be no. So this will not work. They both have, the left-hand side has to equal the right-hand side. So zero, no, because zero does not equal zero. Is everyone okay with that? Uh, where did we get the number two? Well, so right here, oh, snap. Sorry guys. Um, this right here, remember negative sign, minus sign, so negative one minus one, that just makes it negative two, so I got negative two. Oh, just kidding. Uh, any other questions on this one? Sorry, I'm struggling here. Any questions so far? Is that okay? Uh, okay. Um, the next one says uh, the function equals e, uh, 4e to the negative x. Um, so this one's going to be a little difficult if you don't remember your derivatives of e to the x. Remember, if you derive e to the x, it stays the same, right? But if you derive e with some value, it is e to the, the same, right? The copy-paste times the derivative of the exponent, which is just u. So keep in mind, this is a negative right here. So we have the original function, f prime of the function. It's going to be the copy-paste for e negative x times the derivative of the exponent. So the derivative of negative x is equal to negative 1. Hopefully everyone's okay with that. So this is for my f prime of x is equal to negative four e to negative x. Okay, they want the second derivative. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them the second derivative. It's gonna be the same thing, copy paste, negative four e negative x times uh, the derivative of the exponent, which is a negative one. So I'm gonna make that a little nicer and it's gonna be negative four times negative one. That is gonna be a positive four e to the negative x. Okay, so far so good. So last but not least, all we have to do is substitute. So we're gonna go ahead and substitute everything back together into our function right here. So it says f double prime, so f double prime of x which is this one, minus my original f of x, which is uh, this one, right? Equals zero, question mark. So it's 4e negative x minus my original function, 4e to negative x equals zero, question mark. Well, I got the same number, and I got the same number, just one is negative, one is positive. So zero indeed equals zero. This works. So far so good. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do the, the this one right here. So it says uh, f of x equals constant, it doesn't matter what the constant is, it's just a number, e to the x. So if we find the derivative of that, it's going to be copy-paste, c e to the x, and the derivative of the exponent, which is 1, so times 1. Well, that's nice. So if double prime x is going to give us the same exact thing, times the derivative, pretty good. So we're going to go substitute everything back together. Um, and if you guys have questions, guys, please feel free to jump. Uh, I'm sorry, unmute yourself and just ask the question. So I have double prime of x minus my original function of x is equal to zero, question mark. Well, I have double prime is this one. C e to the x minus my original, which we said was this one. C e to the x to zero. So we do have that zero equals zero. So our answers would be this one and this one. 
not this one. Okie dokie. Can I continue? Okay. My next example is this one. Um, so this one is also a very common. So pretty much they will ask you to find, uh, I'm sorry, or not this, um, I'm sorry, my next one is the one to find K. This one's still pretty good. Um, I kid you not, guys, I haven't seen these in a very, very long time. I think this was still Cal 1, Cal 2. Uh, but they're not that bad. I guess that's why I forgot them because they weren't that bad. Uh, but um, they're still pretty useful. So um, sometimes they already give you the differential equation, which hopefully we are familiar. That is dy dx, the same thing as saying f prime of x, or the same thing as saying dy with respect to whatever variable. Wow with respect to whatever variable you're using. Uh-oh. Huh. Technical difficulties. Uh, pretty much all I was saying is f prime of x is the same thing as saying y prime or dy dx. So they already gave you that information here. Okay, um, so pretty much we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing we're gonna go ahead and derive this equation right here. So the derivative of y, you okay, know that is dy dx, and I derive the right-hand side, that is just four. Now that I have the derivative, I'm gonna go ahead and substitute to the given differential equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and substitute to the given differential equation. So I have that dy dx, is equal to 4y. So all I'm going to go ahead and do is substitute right here. Uh, get a different color. So dy dx, I just solved for it. So the same dy dx is equal to 4. So that I have 4 equals 4y. Wait, do I know what y is? Well, sure I do. I was given y. This is what my y equals to. And it is a y that I am using. Sorry, that is a y. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here, which is a 4x. Hopefully this is OK, 4x. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute. I got 4 on the left-hand side. I got 4 times 4. That is 16x over x. And I can go ahead and see that 4 equals 16. Is that true? No, it's not. So this will not work. No work. That does not work. Pretty much all we did was derive and then sub in dy dx and given y. Okay. Any questions, guys? Um, if you don't want to ask it in mic, you can ask it in the chat. I am trying to read it as fast as I can. Okay, so first we find the dy dx on the left hand side and then on the right. So the derivative of x to the fourth is not that bad, that is 4x to the third. And then I sub into the given differential equation, which is this one right here. So the dy dx, dy dx equals 4y over x. So I just found out that my dy dx, I just found it, right? We just said it was this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. So 4x to the cubed equals 4 parentheses over x. And I can find out what my y is because it was given to me from the original. So all I'm gonna do is put it right here, and that is x to the fourth. So on the left-hand side, I got a 4x cubed equals 4x to the fourth over x. 
So I got 4x cubed. This does work. Yay. So this is my answer. So far, so good. Awkward silence it means yes or no. <laughs> Usually in class, I look at your faces and I know when people are confused, but now I'm yes. stroked. Okay. Uh, but these aren't that bad, guys. Usually if it's a free response, I mean, there'll be multiple parts to it. And probably the first part will be like, hey, verify if it's a solution and stuff like that. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the chat box. Awesome. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and go with the next one. Um, oops, just kidding. April Fool's. That's good. Okay. Um, so we have to find the value k. So these are actually more common because these you can easily tie up to previous units. Um, I don't know if you guys remember limits, you know, that was many, many decades ago. Uh, but limits actually asked us to find the k and to find the discontinuous. So these, these are more common. So I'm expecting something like this, um, but I'll have more information on Friday. And you guys as well, if you um, log into the College Board website, um, you, got, you guys can see that information too. But on Friday, they'll let us know what to focus on. Um, but pretty much find a value k for this right here. So let's find out that they gave us this information. Whoops, they gave us this information. And they gave us this right here. So we need to find out the k value. So hopefully you can see that we're going to need y. We already have it. It's right here. Ooh, but we are going to need y double prime. So that we don't have, but we're all, we're all, we can probably get it. So let's start off with whatever y is, e to x plus k e minus 3x. Um, don't be scared about the k, guys. Pretty much it's a constant. Um, so if you derive it, it, just sticks along. So let me go ahead and derive this. Derivative with exponentials should not worry you. Uh, you just pretty much copy and paste them. So y prime equals copy paste 2x. And the derivative of the exponent is, is just 2. Plus the copy-pasted version, because it's an exponent, negative 3x. And the derivative of the exponent, keep in mind it has that negative here. So negative 3. And the derivative of x is just 1. So it's just negative 3. Let me make this a little bit prettier. y prime equals 2e 2x plus whoa, 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 not plus, minus 3, k, e, negative 3x. It is a negative because the negative 3 made that positive into a negative. So just ignore that little part right, spot right there. Okay, um, so far so good. Let's go ahead and find out my next derivative, so y double prime. So pretty much this is an exponent. Um, uh, I'm sorry, an exponential, so it's just going to be copy-pasted 2e, 2x, and the derivative of 2x is just 2. I did the same thing. This is an exponential, so minus 3ke, negative 3x, and the derivative of the exponent, because the chain rule says it's negative 3. Let me see if I can get a darker mark. So y double prime is equal to 4e2x negative 3 times negative 3. Oh, wow. I can't write. It's going to be plus 9ke negative 3x. So far, so good. All we have to do now, guys, is just substitute. Not that bad. So they gave us this. It says 4y minus y double prime equals 10 e negative 3 x. So let's substitute. So it's going to be 4. What is my y? Well, my y was given to me right here. So it's e 2x plus k e negative 3x. I have a feeling I'm going to run out of space. 
minus my y double prime. My y double prime was right here. So minus 4e2x plus 9ke negative 3x. Uh oh, I'm out of space. Okay, um, so let me, this is just the left hand side, and then we'll worry about the right. And yeah, let me see if I can erase some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this uh, this part right here so I don't need it anymore. Okay. So let me go ahead and distribute this four into each individual part and I got four e two x plus 4k e negative 3x, right? Because the negative 4 distributes to the k. Minus, well, this negative is going to distribute to each individual term. So it's minus 4 e 2x minus 9k e negative 3x. And yeah, I can put this, the right-hand side is equal to 10 e negative 3x. Awesome, awesome. So pretty much we're going to uh, combine like terms. Don't worry, guys. This is my last example, though, so it's not going to be that bad. So we got 4 e to the x, 4. So those are like terms. So hopefully you're not, that's not that bad. 4ke uh, minus 9ke. So that is minus 5ke negative 3x is equal to the right hand side 10 e negative 3 x both of these have a are divisible by negative uh, 5 so divide by negative 5 divide by negative 5 so I got a k e negative 3 x is equal to what negative 2 negative 2 e negative 3 x uh, last but not least, both of these terms have this little negative, this exponent, um, the, sorry, this e, negative 3x, e, negative 3x. So we, if we divide by that, we can see that k is equal to negative 2, which means a was our solution. Okay. Uh, and assuming that you followed all the, all the right steps, um, if you were to substitute this k equals negative 2 into the uh, solution, you should be able to get the same answer. That was fun. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I... I still got 10 minutes for my next class, so I'm free for questions. Um, um, whether it's in the chat box or uh, just unmute yourself, I am happy to help. I know it's tedious, guys. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, but I agree, like sometimes harder without <laughs> looking at it with no info. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, uh, fun fact um, college, the College Board is making the live videos at 1 p.m. Um, they also made uh, a lesson on this. I think this was the second or third day. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but they did uh, similar questions where they also found for a K. So that one's interesting to look at. Uh, I'm posting the link every um, at 1 p.m. Usually I post a link. I think yesterday I was like, I'll probably go on break. But um, it has been that link that I've been posting on, on Classroom, but I'll find it. Um, and I'll, and I'll post it. <laughs> I'll try to make a channel. Okay. Uh, the recorded videos are also on that. That's on my um, channel. That's on my. Um, YouTube channel. I'll send you the link. 
um, so you guys can be have that one. Uh, Kayla, yes, Kayla, this is the start of the new unit. So um, let me see if I can get a blank page. So I don't know if this is a yay or nay for us, but um, um, so you know how I told you, hey guys, um, idea does uh, this certain where we went uh, unit one through, I believe, what was it? Um, six, and then we jumped to unit, um, yeah, I'm sorry, unit. We did everything and then we were on this unit, what is it, unit seven? So this was unit five, sorry. So pretty much uh, unit six, we did it first. Um, that was the area of solid solids, right? Um, according to the college board, that will not be tested. That won't be tested. So uh, that usually it was usually a good free response. Um, but according to them, that it's not going to be tested. So that's why I started on unit eight, which is um, differential equations. But according to College Board, that is uh, that is chap that is unit seven. They are, <laughs> yeah, so this is a new unit, it's called differential equations. So um, even though this is good, so if you are pursuing something with related to engineering, math, or um, STEM, you will still be need to knowing the areas of revolution, volumes of revolution, uh, cross sections and stuff like that. Um, but uh, according to, what I've read from College Board, it's not tested, so. Um, the online free response going to work, um, like as in college, like the exam, Ian, or you mean like my Google? Oh, the exam, okay. Um, so that's why I was asking you guys to fill out the little form uh, in the last PowerPoint. I gave you guys, uh, well, how do I go back? Uh, new share. Uh, pretty much, can you guys still see my screen? It's not letting me. It's not working on my side. Uh, yes, well, I probably could just say it here. Uh, the exam is gonna be online. So that's why I made a little link that said, hey guys, if you don't have a laptop, um, College Board is gonna do something. I don't know what they're gonna do yet, but um, uh, pretty much, uh, they have a plan, I guess. I, I really don't know. April 3rd is that the word they're going to say more information, but uh, pretty much they want to know who has a laptop. So it might be like a lockdown browser, which is what they use in the university most of the time when you take exams. So pretty much that is a program you install on your computer and that doesn't let you switch, like doesn't let you open new tabs. So um, they haven't said anything about calculators, but I'm going to make a video on how to download a TI calculator for free. Um, but usually it's gonna be a lockdown browser. So you will log into a certain website that they're gonna tell you. And from that website, it's gonna give you three questions for your response. And um, that's all I know, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm excited, I'm worried, but I'm also curious. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. But that's as far as I know, Ian. So keep uh, you can check out the College Board website, but th that's as much info as I know too. But that's for all AP exams. Three questions for your response. Oh, so we're doing all the tests online? Yes, sir. Oh, oh okay. Uh, it should be the same for Q's class. Does that mean we get to use our notes? Uh, that is horrible, AJ. 
we, so, so we could. No, don't say that. Uh, don't say that. No, you cannot. Um, so the way the, uh, the, how do you call it? The, oh my goodness, you guys are bad. Um, no, you cannot. So pretty much a lockdown browser asks you to record everything around your, around you. So they'll probably be able to see, Hey, this person has notes up. Mm, okay. That's your garbage. Okay. Anyways, I don't want to talk about this. Okay. Any other question? Okay, uh, let me read it if it says, um, uh, let me read college word. I didn't know it said uh, open notes, but let me let me read to, for my own and instead of, <laughs> so I'll put that on my to-do list for today. Any questions? So you said this video is going to be on YouTube, right? Yes, um, it takes like an hour to process, but um, it should be in there by in a little while. Like, just give me a couple minutes so I can start, make it start doing this process. Okay, because I, I woke up late today, so. Okay, um, the Monday one worked. The Monday one's already on the YouTube channel. That one should be on there. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, the video currently right now has been on for 54 minutes. So yeah, that's why it takes a little while. Okay. Awesome. Um, so if you don't have, have any questions, we are free to go. Like always, it's a pleasure. So, but I guess I'll stay on a little while if you guys need to ask questions. Yes, I will add math memes to the PowerPoints. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. All right. Adios.